Thank you for joining me on this TMK Essentials training video, part two, searching. Uh, my name is Ron. I am tech support with Hoi Information Service. And let's get into it. Okay, searching within our research system. Um, I'm going to give you examples on how to search with tax keys. So I'm going to enter in a tax key down to the parcel. So down to parcel two. I'm going to hit search and I get my search result. My just, just the parcel that I searched for. I want to modify to go back. Uh, we can also hit this count button down here. It's going to tell us how many matches we have down this lower left hand side. Um, okay, searching with the tax keys. So again, I drill down to the parcel with this example. I'm going to go just to plat two on here by taking off the parcel. I'm going to hit count. I get 197, which is plat two. Section two. How many are we going to get with this count? And we have 5,000 with this count. So you can search this way. Um, you, uh, the 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 task key field will also accept commas if you're doing um, multiple, and depending on where you left off. So I'm my original task key is parcel two. I'm gonna do comma five. So this should give me parcel two and parcel five. Let's hit count. I get two properties correctly. Hit search and I get plat uh, parcel two and I get parcel five here. Okay, let's modify it to go back. So it's a, this is, the system is smart enough to know where you left off. So I left off at, par, the, at parcel. So when I did my comma five, it knew to look at just the parcel. But say I take it all the way down to the zone, I can do comma four and I click away. When you click away, the system will correctly format uh, your search. So I did leave it at um, zone two comma four and it correctly knows I'm just looking at that last digit so that's why it gives me one dash two or one dash four okay so um, as you can probably tell you can do a space the word or and put in a digit or you, if you wanted you could type out the whole tax key if you really wanted to but it will accept commas it will accept the word or if you're doing uh, multiple here um, you can also enter the word 2 to do a range, so to 10, parcel 2 to parcel 10. Um, click away, it's going to format, it's going to correctly put the from in front of it. Let's hit count. Uh, we've got 9 between 2 and 10, that seems correct to me. Um, when you're doing a range, if you want to exclude something, you can use the term and not. So A and D, N O T, and not 5. Click away. It'll format it for you. I'm gonna hit search and we dropped out the five so we just get eight. So let's actually run this search. So two, three, four, skips five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's modify it to go back. So to recap, you can do commas, you can do the word or, uh, the word two for your range. And if you want to exclude something, use the term and not. Okay, so that is the tax key field. Um, we do have a, a guide for this. I'm gonna open up our help up here, or the knowledge base. Clicked on that little question mark. Okay, so um, in the search field, I'm gonna type in searching with tax keys. And I'm gonna click down here. I could have hit search if I wanted to, but I just let it auto find for me hit search down here and yeah so you can pull up this guide it'll um, you know it's gonna tell you pretty much what I just went over but um, if you wanted to just read it and have this at your fingertips yeah definitely come into the knowledge base and, um, and look for searching with text keys Let's see if I missed anything and not uh, no nope, looks like I got it all okay back to research so that's the tax key field your project field, or not your project field, but any of these find fields. So we call these find fields with the little magnifying glass next to it. Uh, these fields are looking for exact matches for you. Meaning, um, I'm going to type in something in project, and I'm going to click the magnifying glass. It wants to, you know, be exact. So I typed in the word aloha. It found me all my matches that begin with aloha, and you scroll through for what you want. Place your check mark and it's going to populate it up here so now you can you can search this 
So let's actually hit account for properties within the project Aloha Vi. Yep, so I got my parcel and my CPR is one, two, and three. Okay, let's modify to go back. Uh, so that is all these find fields, subdivision is the same, street is gonna be the same. Um, in order to do multiple, um, you can do a space or, meaning, so I'm gonna type in Kai space or Aloha. So this should find me all my matches for Kai and Aloha. So let's hit find, let me scroll a little bit and then hit find. So here's all my Kai's. Scroll down, oop, I gotta scroll far for Kai's. Kai, 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 Kai. And here's my Aloha's on the bottom. So um, so yeah, if you wanna do multiple, do a, do your, your term, space, the word or, space, and then your next, um, your, your next um, term in here. Okay, so that's your find fields. You can use the ors if you want multiple. Let's take out the project. Um, regular drop downs are gonna be indicated by this little arrow pointing down here. So the uh, pit codes are gonna have little drop downs. Just pop that open, scroll through what you're looking for, place your check marks, and you're adding that to your search. You hit search now, and you're gonna run your search there. Okay, straightforward. I'm sure you know about that. Uh, another easy one is the check marks or check boxes. So with these like co-ops or no co-ops, you can only select one of each, right? So if I say yes, I want co-ops, or if I switch it over to no, it's not gonna let me select yes. So it'll it'll toggle it off for you, but you just place your check mark and you're adding that to your search request. Um, search number is open, similar to tax key. You know how these are just open, you can just type in them. You can you, you just type in your number here, or you can use the or command, or 15. Click away, it automatically formats it for me correctly. Use the to command, it'll do the from, so it just knows to do the range. Um, one other thing you can do in street number is it will also accept the word even and odd. So if I just do even, click away. It just goes all caps for me and uh, just lets me know that I did it correctly. Odd, let me just do that for you. Even or odd, you can do that in street number. Feel free to do that. Okay. Um, the next type of search fields we have are these ranges. Um, so last sale date, or minimum last sale date, maximum last sale date, uh, these date boxes, when you click in them, you're gonna get a little calendar that opens up that you can toggle through. So October, so I'm, I went all the way back to October. Let's go back to September 1st. I want my last sale date to be back then. Click on this side. I can, of course, scroll through here also. Make my selection. You don't have to use the, the calendar. Of course, if you really want to, you can just type away in here. Just type, the, um, type your date out. It'll accept it. Um, with the range boxes, feel free to leave them open also. So if I just have a entry in my max, I can leave my minimum date um, blank and it'll go from the beginning of time essentially to to whatever date you have in max uh, or vice versa. Do something in minimum and leave max open. It'll know to come to today. So yeah, feel free to leave these boxes blank if you want. Uh, minimum last sale price, um, straightforward. Type in whatever you want, and um, and feel free to leave um, one side open ended if you if you want to. That's totally fine. Um, if you notice, um, we we do append the um, the thousand to it. So if you just put a five here and I click away, it is gonna say five thousand, ten, ten thousand. You you get you get it. So it is going to append that. Um, if you do need to, for whatever reason, just do five, um, you can use the decimal. If you, for, I mean, I, you're not going to find anything with $5, but this is how you're going to enter it in if you really wanted to. Um, you can use the dollar sign also, dollar sign five. It knows to just stay there when you do that, when you do that. Okay, so that is the price. Um, the price ranges and the date ranges. Okay, 
So when you are entering your um, any parameters in here, 210, let's get an interior area, 1000 to I don't care how much, so this is the max, I want vacant lands. Okay, this is just a random search request, I don't think I'm gonna get anything if I actually run it. But, um, but yeah, when you enter in your, your search request, it does go down here on the bottom in this request line. So this is kind of giving you a recap of what you're what you're doing. So if I add another one, condo, condo yes, no co-ops, co-ops no. So you can yeah. So um, this is your recap down here. Uh, you can edit these. Um, I'm gonna collapse this quick search section just for my example. So it's clicking on this little minus to collapse it. So say it's all collapsed. Um, you I mean you don't have to collapse it, but I'm just. What I'm getting at is you're not able to, or you don't know where your field is up top. Maybe you scroll down, maybe you expanded Team K detail. You went deep into the search fields. You're in here already. You're all the way down here. You don't have to scroll back up to get to interior area or vacant land. You can click directly on these down here on the bottom. So my interior area, I want to edit this. So I'm going to click on it. I want to change this to 500 to 1000. Click your little check mark, and um, now I have 500 to 1,000 down here in total interior area. So yeah, so you can just um, click on these directly and start editing them. Totally fine. I don't want that. Co-op no, that was a mistake. Take that off. You can also click these little rubbish cans. So condo yes, I don't I don't want condo anymore. Click the little rubbish can to throw it away to remove it from my request here. So removing it from your request is also gonna remove it up here. So if I have lounge up here, rubbish can lounge, lounge gets unchecked. So yeah, the really um, quick and easy way to edit your search by going down here and clicking. Uh, next up, we're going to look at add fields. Okay, so if you notice, we have this red add fields button here. Um, it is going to just append to the end of the request. So when you first log in, it's going to be right here. Or if you just have no request, it's going to be right here. But as you start adding stuff, it is going to move to the end of the request. Um, clicking on add fields, I'm going to click on it. It's going to bring up our window here. Uh, this is every single search field in our system. Um, there's a little category. A thing we can click on up here, click this little plus to expand it. I don't know, expand it, and it gives you. It tells you what the color coding is. Let's let's collapse this. So yeah, if you notice, these are all color coded, right? So additional fixtures is green. This is kind of a, I don't know, darker green, and then blue. Um, by expanding the categories up top, we can uncheck certain things. So this kind of whatever green this is, this is condo project address if I uncheck condo project notice we lose that address uh, the blues for property data hide the blues we only are seeing the green so it just helps you kind of sort through to to this to, to um, better find what you're looking for let's put them back on I'm gonna scroll down sorry I needed to scroll but you couldn't see this earlier uh, you can click down here and actually start typing so um, apartment say I was looking for the apartment field so I just type a couple letters. Um, it's gonna help me auto find. Um, everything is alphabetical, but um, you can just type down here and it'll it'll find it for me. Um, let's not use apartment. Let's use uh, bedrooms total. Okay. So I mean bedrooms total. It's a common field, so it's gonna be up in your TMK or the quick search section. But but say I am looking for bedrooms, the bedroom search field, and I want to. I don't want to use green. I want to use blue. The public data. The property data, I should say, property data up here. I want to use it, so I'm going to click directly on it. I'm going to get this box that pops out. Scroll up, um, box that pops out to the right, and I'm going to enter in my request. I want a minimum of five bedrooms, and I don't care about the max. I just want at least five bedrooms. Click the check mark, and I'm going to close. And it should be added to my request. So let me look through my request. TMK bedroom total from five, right there. So it added to my request. Let's take off this other stuff so we can see a little better. Okay, so there's my TMK bedroom total five. 
I'm gonna add fields again. Let's scroll through, find something good. Condo pool indicates if this condominium project has a pool. Click on that. Yes, I want a pool. Check mark that. Scroll down, hit close. Um, I'm having to scroll because um, the the the, um, the dimensions I'm I'm recording this video. It's it's not full screen on my on my screen. Normally I don't have to scroll down, but anyway. Anyway, so yeah, we did add um, the pool parameter to our to our search here. Um, so yeah, so that's what the add fields are for. Um, this is really really helpful. Um, once you get good with using the add fields, or you're just comfortable with coming in here and um, looking for your your search fields, um, yeah, you're well on your way to to mastering the system. It's just it's just much faster than scrolling through and remembering which um, which category your uh, search field is in. Because yeah, there's just so many in, in the system here. Okay, so that's your add fields. Um, let's get a couple more search results or search uh, parameters in here. Just my my go to one two 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 two. Uh, whatever vacant lands condos. Uh, looks like I can't combine condos and co-ops. That makes sense. Okay, so um, say you have your search. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to start saving our searches. Um, enter in your search parameters. And your save search is located down here on the bottom right. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to ask me to name my search. Let's go ahead and name it. TMK Essentials. I'm going to hit save. And it is saved. And you know what? Just for fun, let's do something else owner name so that again that's a find field so I typed in the words the, the name Smith I just hit my tab key but you could click this or you know any any way you navigate away from the box it'll it'll pop up in the find um, I want that guy Agnes Smith that person and I'm gonna save this uh, it's asking me if I wanted to update that but I don't I want to name it something else um, new newer Hit save. Okay. Okay. So uh, once you have some save searches, or you know, um, when you want to bring them back up, you're going to want to look for this my save searches down here. So save is right there. To the right of it is your my save. This is how you bring up your saved. Click on that. So I'm already using newer, but I want to use TMK Essentials. Of course, you just hit this run search now. And if I kind of look through, make sure. Yep, I don't have Smith down here anymore. And it, it, it just um it just reloaded my my saved search. Uh, in the my saved search, you can always delete them out by clicking this little X here if you don't want them anymore. And uh, of course, um not of course, but yeah, hit run this search now to to use your saved search. Okay. So that is how you save your search. Um. Yeah, okay, so that was uh, the basics to searching. Um, yeah, I hope you found that useful. Uh, yeah, feel free to stick around to go to our next video. Or if not, just uh, have a great day. Aloha.